guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I made not just one, but two wood crates with items from Dollar Tree. All those days trying to find a place, a place where you only can just be alone. Welcome back to Rhea's World of Ideas. If you are new to my channel, I am Rhea and on my channel I love sharing all the ideas that I find helpful in my life and home and hopefully you'll find them helpful in your life and home as well. So if you're not a subscriber already, don't forget to hit that subscriber button before you leave this video and also don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're always notified on all the new videos that I put out. So with that being said, let's just jump into today's video and today I want to share with you guys how I made two wood crates with Dollar Tree items. This one I made that was around $5 and this one I made, um, the actual structure was $3 but if you add the decor to it, it's actually $4. So both of them are $5 or less and I find that I love making DIYs that are $5 or under because it's kind of like a challenge and lately I've been making some for you guys that have been coming out so well. The last one that you guys really liked was that farmhouse style scale. I love the way that one came out and obviously you guys liked it too because you guys let me know about it. Thank you so much for all the comments that you guys left on it. I really appreciate it. I love reading your comments and the fact that you guys like them. So I mean that really made me feel good. So today I'm going to share with you guys the crates that I made and I, what I love about these crates is that that you can make them come the fall time that's when people like to use crates a lot because you use a lot of crates during the fall season when you're decorating for fall and Christmas and if you have that farmhouse decor it definitely you use crates in, um, in any decor you have when it comes to farmhouse you can use it all year round so what I like, like about these crates is that I'm bringing them to you guys around fall time around Christmas time so if you do want to decorate for that farmhouse style during those holiday seasons these crates will come in handy. But also, if you like that farmhouse style like I do and you like decorating with them all year round, these crates will come in handy to decorate your house all year round. So I just love these crates. These, these crates came out way better than I expected. And I wanna say that I did not come up with the structure of these ideas by myself. I can't remember exactly who I got the idea from for this one and this one. It was two different YouTubers, but when I remember, I'll put them on the screen and I'll also put them in the uh, description box below, the link to their channels. Um, the design was mine, but the structure for this one, I've got the idea from another YouTuber and the structure for this one as well, I got an idea from the, um, another YouTuber as well. But I designed it in my, in my, in my vision but I always want to let you guys know when I get ideas from other youtubers I feel like in this you know DIY community we should always help each other out and always give credit where credit is due a lot of people don't and they get all this credit um, you know people you know praise them like oh you came up with this idea and they didn't and I just don't like doing that to other people because I don't like when people have done that to me so I will always give credit where credit is due and so yes yeah, so I'll put the links to their channels down below um, I have to look it up I can't remember their name off the top of my head and I also put one um, I'll put a link in the card the description box up. I'll put a link of their name up above um, once I figure out who it was. But anyways, let's just jump into today's video so I can share with you guys how I made these simple, affordable wood crates with Dollar Tree items. So for this first crate, or you can actually call this a planner box as well, I'm going to be using these wine canvas signs that I hauled to you guys in my Dollar Tree haul. And I'm going to take a blade and some scissors and cut off the the canvas part of this sign because what you're left with when you take the canvas part off is the wood structure of it and this is what's going to create the base for this crate or this planter box whichever you, you want to call it and I got this idea from the channel Ashley Lauren um, she made it on her channel kind of like a planter box and she added some other details to it but I love the structure of the base that um, that she created so this is that's where that's the channel that I got this idea from but you're just going to take off all the canvas part of um, of the sign and just be left with the wood to be able to create the base. Once I removed all the canvas part from the sign and the nails, which the nails that um, were still stuck in them, I just used a butter knife to pry it off and it worked just fine. But after I was done removing all the stuff from the wood frame, it was time to stack it up and glue it. And what I used for this project was that wood glue that I got at Dollar Tree a while back that I share with you guys that I use in a lot of my wood projects, my, a lot of my DIY wood projects. You can use um, E6000 or that adhesive glue that I tell you guys that I get from Dollar Tree that works just as good as E6000. But anytime I do wood projects, I love using this wood glue because it just sticks 
really well together and binds the wood together so I love using it but if you can't find it the adhesive glue any adhesive glue would work fine but uh, I'm gonna stack three on top of each other and as you can see when I um, put the glue on there's some um, glue that oozes out on the side you want to take a damp paper towel and wipe away that glue because if you don't you'll have big chunks of glue later on and when you go to paint your um, your planter box or your crate you will see those wood drip those uh, glue drips and it won't look right so as you're gluing just make sure you go around um, the planter box around the crate and you wipe away any excess glue so that you don't see that um, so you don't see it on the side so that you can have a better you know better looking um, planter box or crate on the outside so uh, I'm just gonna do three you can do as tall as you want you could just do two you could do four this is basically you can make it as high as you want it to be but I thought three would be a good size for it and yep that's all I did for this for the structure of the next crate I'm gonna be using these two wood box decor plaques I think that's what you call them and I'm using the medium size one because Dollar Tree has some smaller versions and a larger one than this but the medium size one works better for this crate and then I'm going to be using these wood rulers that come with this little plastic covering that peels off really easily. So I'm going to be peeling off the plastic out of uh, three packs of these rulers so that you get a total of six uh, wood rulers to make this crate with. And you're going to have three on each side. And the YouTube channel that gave me the idea to create this crate was Miss Amaya's DIY. To keep everything aligned and straight, I'm going to be using this L-shaped ruler that you can find in the auto section at Dollar Tree. You guys have seen me use this ruler so many times in so many of my DIY projects and it really does help keep everything looking nice and straight. And I'll be also using the wood glue for this project as well. Once the glue was dry, now it was time to paint. And these canvases right here, you could leave them the natural wood, especially if you found all the same color, but I'm gonna paint it. And this crate right here um, came out real nice. And it actually, if you wanted to, if you wanted to keep the design of that wood plaque right there, you can actually do it because I put them both the same way. And what you could do is just add white paint to the rulers and create this crate with two designs on the side. So that would be a good way to do it, a cute way to do it if you wanted to keep the design of that sign. But I wanted to make it look aged with the two tones of gray that I've done before on my DIY projects that I share with you guys. So I'm gonna go in with a dark gray and a light gray to make this crate look like an aged wood crate. And then for the other crate, um, because it has the different tones in it, I'm going to go just do a, a white wash on it. I'm going to use this glossy white paint that I found at Walmart that you can get them for 50 cents, but I just get the big bottle because I use white paint all the time. And I'm going to go in with them. Um, I'm going to use actually a, the makeup sponges to um, paint these. Um, Bargain Bethany talked about them on her channel and I like them for certain projects. I like them for this project because the wood on these um these canvas ones they're kind of sticky um, kind of like prickly and some of the foam brushes don't glide well on them but these makeup sponges glide really well on them and makes it easy to paint and it gives me that white wash kind of look so if you're going to paint these canvases and you're having trouble with this you know the the sponges the foam sponges try using these makeup brushes um, they really work well So for this crate, I'm going to start off by painting it that dark gray first. And one thing I would suggest to you guys that I wish I would have done before assembling the rulers to those wood box decor plate uh, plaques, um, take some sandpaper and sand off that shiny top coat finish that it has. Because what happened was when I went to go paint this crate, the paint stuck to the ruler just fine because it's like that natural unfinished wood. But when I try to put the paint on those wood box decor plaques, the paint wasn't sticking to it properly because it had that shiny top coat on it. So I would suggest to you guys before assembling your crate that you take some sandpaper, sand off that top coat finish of those wood box um, decor pieces before you attach the rulers to them so that the paint will stick to it properly.
Once the dark gray paint was fully dry, I'm now going to go in with the lighter gray to kind of give it like an aged crate look. And to achieve this look, I love using these brushes that have like the, you know, the tough bristles to them so that I kind of can do kind of like a dry brush effect to the crate to make it look more aged. Once I was done painting my crate, I realized I did not like the look of the holes that the rulers had. So what I did to fill in those holes was I just took my glue gun and I filled in the holes with hot glue. And this step I probably should have done before painting, but I didn't think the holes were going to bother me as much. But once I was done painting, I realized I didn't like the look of them. So what I'm doing now is I'm just filling in the holes with the hot glue. And then I'm just going to paint over that area with the dark gray and the, um, and the light gray to finish up my look. And you could use wood filler, but I like using hot glue because hot glue, the drying time is faster than wood glue. So that's what I did. But yeah, I just filled that in and I'm going to go over it with the paint in that area. This is how the other crate looked once the paint was fully dried and I was going for a whitewash effect. Now you can leave it just like this, but you guys know me and I love to add details to my DIYs. So I'm going to add this galvanized harvest sign that comes three to a pack at Dollar Tree comes with the harvest welcome and thankful and to attach this to the crate I'm just gonna use that adhesive glue that I tell you guys I love so much that's just as good as E6000 and this is how the harvest sign looks on this crate so now it's time to add a bottom to these crates and I'm just going to use some leftover tag board that I already had on hand in my craft room and this leftover tag board that I had was enough to create the bottoms for both these crates. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace out the shape that I need but instead of tracing out the shape for the tag board to just to be glued on the bottom, I'm actually going to trace the shape of the inside of the crates because I want to tuck these tag board pieces inside the crates so that they are not shown um, on the outside because what happens is if you attach tag board to the bottom you'll be able to see it um, the thickness of the tag board on the bottom and it doesn't look nice to me so I like to trace out the shape of the inside of the of the crates or the inside of the flower box and then attach it inside it this wood crate or planter box, whichever you want to call it, um, you can really decorate it with any type of arrangements. But I wanted to use the eucalyptus leaves that I found at Walmart that I hauled to you guys. They were $2 each. And it was $2 for like a big bunch of eucalyptus leaves, which I think is a great price because like half of it would be like one bunch of a Dollar Tree floral arrangement. And I never can find eucalyptus leaves in um, Dollar Tree. So I love the way um, the eucalyptus looks with this um, crate and then I'm going to be changing it up when the seasons come. This crate also you can decorate it with anything that you like but I just kind of wanted to share with you guys how you can decorate it with fruit and I had the apples on hand from the other DIYs that I shared with you guys but Dollar Tree has so many different types of fruits and you can also put flower arrangements in here, you could put milk jugs, you could put towels sticking out. There's so many things that you can do to decorate with crates, pillows, I mean so many things. But I just wanted to share with you guys how it looked with the fruit because this can also go for the September and fall season. But stay tuned because during my fall season, you guys will see that I will be putting small little pumpkins in here that will look so adorable for the fall season. So that is how I made these two wood crates with Dollar Tree items. Again, I really like the way they came out and I'll be able to use them all year round. Stay tuned because I will be sharing with you guys how I decorate them for fall. I was going to put fall decor in them now, but then I figured that that video would just be labeled as a fall DIY and then some people who want to make crates for other seasons, they won't necessarily look at that video because they'll think it's like a fall DIY. So I wanted to share with you guys how you could decorate these crates with like everyday decor. So like with the eucalyptus leaves and I put apples, but you can really put any fruit that you're decorating with in your home, lemons, 
Um, if you want the grapes, if you want the pears, Dollar Tree has all the fake fruit right now. Big fake fruit. So if you want to do that, if you have an apple theme in your house, because a lot of people do have apple themes in their kitchen, that will go great. But I just wanted to share with you guys how you could decorate them for every day. And then I'm going to share with you guys in another video how I take these crates and put my fall decor in them. And they'll also be incorporated with my fall decor item. So that is it for today's video. Today's question that I want to leave you with is, what is that DIY item that you have created that you can use all year round? Like these crates, I feel like you can use them all year round. So what is that DIY item that you can use in your home all year round? All you have to do is switch out the uh, seasonal items. Let me know in the comments down below. And if you have pictures, that would be awesome as well. You can also share them with me on Instagram um, and just tag me in them. And I look forward to seeing them and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Hey guys, don't forget to click on the picture in the middle of the screen so you can subscribe to my channel and get notifications on all the new videos that I put out. And check out these other two videos that I have posted on my channel on either side of my picture. Have a great day.